so today we've done our Christmas food shop at Aldi. Um, we spent more money than what we thought we would, but it's Christmas after all. Excuse the noise. So I'll show you what we've got. <laughs> okay, so I've got um, four packs of crumpets. I've got I've got 20 packs of refuse sacks. <laughs> I've got two two bottles of this refreshing shower gel. I've got some tea tree shampoo and conditioner, some wash, Magnum washing up liquid, some all-in-one clean and shine, multi-surface cleaner that is, and I've got some semi-skim milk, I've got some power force toilet gel, and then I've got six pints of semi-skim milk as well, and some double length toilet tissue. And then, over here, I've got two packs of these four white breaded rolls, um, the part baked, so oh, I haven't had these for years, but we've got those to have on Christmas Day with the soup and stuff. Are you alright, Frankie? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Um, and then I have got some of this ruby pork red cabbage. I don't know if you can see inside. Yes, we've got shredders. Um, it's basically red cabbage, slowly braised with red ruby pork. Chianti wine, red currant jelly, honey and spices and garnish of sweet juicy mandarin. It does look really, really nice. We've got that to have on Christmas Day as well. Mm. Uh, but do you need, uh, <laughs> we've got some British outdoor bread pork and chestnut stuffing balls. And then I've got um, four packs of pigs in blankets. Fully pork. There you go. Oh, we love these. That's why we've stocked up with them. On them, sorry. We've got some lightly salted tortilla chips. We've got a 60 piece Indian snack selection which includes onion barges, vegetable pakoras and vegetable samosas. I have got some curly fries and I've got uh, <coughs> two cheese and tomato pizzas, um, two matured sirloin steaks, I've got some um, Honey and mustard glazed parsnips. Can you see them in there? Um, I've got a big turkey tray, and I've got and I've got some ready rolled all butter sweet short crust pastry. I've got two of those. I'm going to make some mince pies tomorrow. I've got some digger bars. Um, I've got 15 eggs. I have got a small ready basted turkey. Oh, it's got giblets, giblets in it, Lee. Madden. It's got giblets in it. What else? This turkey. It's got what in it? Giblets. Hmm, I don't really know what you, I think you're meant to pull them out. Are you? Are you meant to pull the giblets out? I don't know. That's the one on YouTube. Do you pull the giblets out? I mean, that's for dinner for years. Like, this is the first time I've cooked a turkey in a long time. I've never actually cooked a turkey like this. Do you keep the giblets in or do you take the giblets out? Can you let me know, please? Because I haven't got a clue. Anyway, the turkey with giblets was £10. Yeah? Move that over then, babe. Directions. Defrost. <laughs> Skidaddle. I've got um, the pork crackling joint. I've got some Natoka chocolate spread and I've got baked beans, I've got four tins of those. I have got some Bromwell's sliced beetroots and I've got two tins of chopped tomatoes. I've got a jumbo king prawn cocktail thingy. Um, some multi-grain crackers, some, what are they? Grana Padano parsley and thyme crackers and some green olive cheese and rosemary crackers. Oh. Don't forget to remove giblets and neck. Oh, what? Oh, should we see if your mum will do it for us? <laughs> um, anyway, I've got some wheat crackers and then I've got two packs of these, what does that say? Some of Savior, Savior Bakes cream crackers. I, I'm guessing they are like Jacob's cream crackers. Um, my dad and stepmom are coming around on Boxing Day for cheese and crackers and bits and bobs and some little nibbles. So that's why I've got loads. And I've got three packs of instant noodles. I've got five all together, so I've got some more somewhere else. I've got two garlic baguettes and a smoked gammon joint, um, some olive spread, some dark chocolate digestive biscuits and some chocolate butter biscuits. And I've got some sweet pickle and some pickled gherkins, I didn't know they've been put in, and um, 
some sweet and sticky red currant sauce um, and then we've got some dark chocolate butter biscuits and some milk chocolate digestives some cranberry roulé cheese and some garlic roulé cheese and we've got some brussels pate um, I've got some goose fat for my roast potatoes um, and I've got two packs of these after dinner mints that Lee's put in the trolley and then I've got some salt and vinegar stackers, some barbecue stackers and sour cream and onion stackers which are obviously pretty much the same as Pringles. Um, I've got a truly luxurious cheese selection. In there there is, well there's Bleu de la Laverne, Belton Farm Red Leicester, Long Close and White Stilton with blueberries, Normandy Brie with award winning Ashley Chase Coastal Cheddar. Anyways, we've got that. <laughs> <laughs> it stinks. It absolutely reeks. Um, oh, that stinks. Oh, and I've got some hot salsa dip. Got some chicken gravy granules. I've got some mature cheddar. Um, I've got some marmite. You either love it or hate it. We love it. Um, and I've got two of these double cream tubs of double cream and then i've got some bramley apple sauce i've got some pure clear honey and i've got two jars of this um specially selected minced meat some tomato sauce some colombian instant coffee some salad cream and some mm, and some mint sauce and then i've just got some medium colored cheddar some mature colored cheddar and some Bedded ham. And then over here I've got some honey nut cornflakes and two boxes of malted wheaties, shreddies, uh, two packs of apples, some mushrooms, a cucumber, and then I've got um, three tubs of tomato and basil soup with a twist of black pepper. Um, so I've got three of those, and then I've got a butternut squash soup with a hint of sage, and then I've got um, the carrot and coriander soup with a hint of seasoning. There's the rest of my noodles. Um, I've also got some roasted salted peanuts, some broccoli. We've got some British carrots. I've got some candy canes, some British baking potatoes. I didn't realize I picked up baking potatoes. I just need them for my roasties, really. Um, I've got some bananas. And I've got some um, Brussels sprouts as well because you can't have a Christmas dinner without Brussels sprouts. And then this is where it gets interesting because I don't know why Lee's brought all these spirits. <laughs> I'm guessing it's for when people come round over Christmas because there's no way he's going to drink all of this. Um, and anyway, we've been to Asda's and I've got some Coke and some lemonade. Um, I think there's a bottle of Advocar missing. Lee! Um, we've got some amaretto. There's another bottle of Coke. I don't ever buy Coke and lemonade. Um, only like special occasions. I don't like the kids drinking fizzy drinks at all. I don't even drink them that much myself. And I've got some of this Southern Belle liqueur. Disgusting. Some bourbon. I think he thinks he's turning into either Damon or Stefan from Vampire Diaries because that is gross. Some Ballycastle, this is like Irish cream, I'm guessing that is like Bailey's. Um, and then at the back he's got some port and he's got a bottle of Carver champagne. Um, which will probably get saved for New Year's Eve. And yeah, all together we spent um, about 100 and... 50 pounds I think it was so I mean it's not too bad I don't need to buy loads of extra food because I've got a freezer that is rammed because no one's really been no one, people aren't eating very much at the minute I don't even know why it's like I don't know but yeah I've got a freezer full of food I've got to get this lot put away and yeah I think I think it was about 150 140 maybe so yeah <laughs> Um, anyway, thank you for watching and if I don't see you before, I hope that you all have a wonderful Christmas and yeah, thank you for watching. I will see you soon. Bye.